Hey guys, so welcome back. Um, I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about what's been going on and, you know, why I've been a little bit behind on the videos. I do, uh, so I will be getting the July videos out here really shortly and I'm going to get back and started in motion. But I just wanted to let you all, I felt the need to tell you guys and let you know what's going on with me. Um, I just wanted to address uh, that my father just recently passed away. And I thought it would be a really good time to discuss a lot of things about the spiritual world. And I know a lot of you guys have had loved ones that have passed away. Um, especially recently, I am noticing a lot more in the past months. And I've seen a lot of things coming in the months to co months coming up. Um, so, yes, we all mourn. And it's really painful. And... We will never stop loving or cherishing the ones that we love. But I, I need to discuss the fact that there is no distance in the spiritual world. And, you know, although it's unfortunate that they pass and they, are, they leave us, that they may be gone physically, they're never forgotten. Um, they're spiritual selves. We all have spirits. And our spiritual selves are always around us because we live in a spiritual world. We don't just live in this physical world. And so everything you touch and you see around you is not really real. Yes, it's real. It's tangible. You can see it. But it's almost like the matrix. Behind that, even right next to you, is there's no distance in the spiritual world, is spirits. Um, and that is just the reality of things. So here on earth is really just a preschool for where we are about to go. So I encourage everyone to... Take every moment and cherish each other. Take every moment like it's your last. Because we are not promised tomorrow. Um, it doesn't mean be, you know, down, uh, you know, a negative Nancy or be down all the time and be negative. But it's just enjoying the moment fully. Being in the present is so important and of course we all have regrets and things that we could wish we could take back or do differently but we need to release those and nothing nothing matters you know we are human and we are gonna do things and we are gonna make mistakes and we're probably not gonna make good decisions at the moments that we should or do the right thing all the time but that's okay. It's okay. So I just kind of wanted, um, for those of you that have dealt with um, loved ones that have passed, whether it's been many years or it's been just recently, I just wanted to kind of, you know, talk to spirit and maybe a little bit of advice for us as we progress in this world, as our loved ones watch us from above. And make no mistake, it doesn't matter what anyone says, um, God allows our loved ones to help guide us. Um, God did not make us, and he did not make us the way we did and give us the parents that we did or the loved ones that we have with just cutting it off at that point. 
Um, we cannot put God in a box. And anyone that puts God in a box, um, you know, I feel sad for them because they are being, um, <sighs> sorry, it's taking me a minute. They're be being put um, in a box themselves because they're not being allowed to literally, they're not being allowed to actually see the truth. So that saddens me for them because they will never be able to grow and be able to see what extraordinary things God can do and what he does do in our life. You know, all the synchronicities you see, numbers, signs, um, any little things around you, you know, the universe tries to speak to us. God tries to speak to us. And we are not alone. They are always still here and around us. <clears throat> For those of you that, um, you know, you can, you know, click off right now if this doesn't pertain to you or um, you don't have any loved one that has passed. Um, I just wanted to get out there why I've been kind of backed up and silent on things and it's just taken me a little bit to get moving again. So let's just get a couple cards. I just want to get some advice for everyone that has dealt with somebody that has passed that you have loved. All right. Any messages? Let's invite God, the Holy Spirit, our spirit guides, our loving holy angels. Please, we invite you into this. For the messages that you have, for the one, the ones that are dealing with grief and loss and heartache, what message? So we have clairvoyance, beloved one, and brilliant idea. So. Yes, your idea is divinely guided. Please take action to bring your idea to fruition. So, I feel like a lot of our loved ones that have passed, they this is like letting me know that they really are trying to help promote um, us to move forward in not just business ventures, but areas in your life that maybe they see that you may need a little help on. And then we have, I am helping your spiritual sight to awaken fully so you can clearly see heavenly love. So, you know, messages that you may be receiving, you know, out of the blue or synchronicities, uh, just what I was talking about, um, signs, things like that can, you know, it's coming from heaven. It's just confirmation. This is our spiritual so our spiritual guides are loved ones trying to connect and help guide us and that letting us know that they are still here. And then we have beloved one. So we have, um, I am helping you with your spiritual soulmate relationship. Okay. So this is saying to me, um, and now I don't, now I'm not going to bring romance into this. There's nothing to do with that. And I'm sorry for those that may ha may feel that way. Um, you can. You can apply it to whatever's going on in your life. Or maybe a loved one has passed that has tried to get you together. But what this really says is our soulmates are not just romantic relationships. They are family members. They are people that we have felt so closely connected to. That maybe we've just met friends um, it doesn't have to be romantic, so um, it's just letting us know that they are helping guide those relationships 
that possibly ones that we have lost have been our soulmates. I know for me, my father, we almost had the same personality. And, um, you know, we, we were able to understand each other. All right. I just want to get one more. Spirit's telling me one more for the overall message. So we have chakra clearing. So call upon me to clear and open your chakras using sa sacred geometric shapes. So again, signs. So please, today, you know, look for the signs. Look for um, all this stuff that you know, your loved ones and your spirit guides are trying to reach out to you to help you move in a better direction that even follows your soul's purpose. But clearing your chakra is needed to be able to see those signs and be able to address them, whether they're in your heart, if your chakra, heart chakra is blocked, or your sacred chakra, sacral chakra, you know, or intuition. So... We need to always make sure at all times that our chakras are cleared. So thank you, Spirit, for that. We appreciate that. But I'm going to let you guys go. Um, thank you for listening to me and hearing me out. Um, I'm going to get the Ju July out for you guys. And uh, you guys just hold your loved ones a little tighter today um tell them you love you you love them more you know take the initiative day by day as we are not promised tomorrow take that time to cherish that person in your life because we don't know when the last chance you will get to do that and the thing is i always say to the people i love Every day before I walk out of the house, I always say I love you. And on the phone, I get off the phone, I always say I love you. No matter what, because I don't know when the last time that I will see them or be able to talk to them again is. So, um, this is all positive stuff. I don't want to make it sad. And I know we're all going through a lot right now. It doesn't have to be death but we're all here for each other and let's support each other and um since there is no distance in the spiritual world you know we are all really connected so you guys just stay positive and you guys have a great day and cherish each other as you go about your day today okay i love you guys and thank you so much for the support you've given me it really means a lot, and I cherish you guys so much. You have built me up and um, given me a lot of inspiration. Okay? Love you guys. Have a good one. Bye.